paradigm shift. Shift. Point number two. We want to move people from chaotic lifestyles to becoming contributing members of society, addressing the causes, so as to restore, empower, and enable. For this, we're going to need a community hub. And God has graciously provided an incredible building to us. This is the old job class center. Uh, and we are in a process of trying to see if we can acquire this building so as uh, for it to act as our community hub. Now, this sort of building is not going to come is not going to come cheap. It's going to cost a lot of money. And some people are wondering whether we're doing the right thing or not. I don't know, but I do know that God has called us to do that <laughs> and let God be the one to resolve the issues of money. It's not for me. Where there's, a, where, where there's God's will, He will pay the bill. Where there's a vision, there is provision by extension. So we want to address, here's what we want to do. We want to address these causes based in this place. All the other ministries, we're going to carry on doing them where we do them. But the new ministries that we're going to introduce, and I want to show you, I think if we can go back, I want to show you those ministries. We want to get into these areas. For, for the next five years, we have identified through our own research, five areas we need to work into. Uh, an area per year. That's neat, isn't it? Well, I don't think it's going to work that neatly. But at least there's five areas. So number one, mental health. Broken relationships. Addictions. Criminal lifestyles. And law skills. Journey with people. To create a space where they can come, they can feel safe, they can feel secure. So we're looking almost immediately to open up some kind of cafe drop-in space where people can come and can be around. And then we've got so many other amazing ideas and dreams. You know, when you're kind of on the coattails of this guy here, you kind of, you just catch hold of that dream and vision and you get excited about what God can do. I was in Chesterfield, I'll just say this briefly. Last week I was in Chesterfield we're, um, we're trying to initiate a night shelter up in Chesterfield as well. Not that we're busy enough in Derby. Um, and this guy came up to talk to me afterwards. He said, I used to live in Derby. And I said, all oh, right, whereabouts? He said, oh, you won't have heard of it. It was Charmwood Street. I said, oh, yeah, <laughs> our office is on Charmwood Street. He goes, oh, and there used to be this great place round the corner of Charmwood Street where people used to go and get help. I said, all oh, right, whereabouts was that? This building. Wow. 40, 50 years ago, he was telling me that this was a building that people would go to mm -hmm. to get help and assistance. And I was just like, I haven't actually told Julio that story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, you know, for me, if God isn't speaking, I don't know when God is speaking. You know, yeah. if this isn't a time where God is speaking to us and we're, we recognise this is a massive step of faith. But Julio shared with us at the beginning of the year, he felt like God was speaking to us about living by faith and not by sight. And this, for me, is a project where we are totally stepping out in faith. Will we get it wrong? We, I can't say that tonight, can I, whether we're going to get it wrong or not. If we get it wrong, we'll sort it. But I'm really in faith to believe that this is a place where more lives can be transformed, more disciples can be made, and Jesus can come and invade people's lives in a greater way. Is that all right? Yeah, thank you.